So we were on the trail of Mothman and we stopped at Hibbly Hot Dog. They were sadly all sold out of Homewreckers today. Here's a couple of factories that we saw um, while there. Um, I don't remember what they were. So on your right in this is the actual location where the TNT plant was. We didn't go in because it's actually um, a super fun site. It's contaminated by TNT and DNT. And then, of course, you know, the markers to Chief Cornstalk. Cornstalk, um, on November 7th, 1777, Cornstalk of the Shawnee and Red Hawk of the Delaware arrived at Fort Randolph at the confluence of the Ohio and the Kanawha Rivers at present-day Point Pleasant, West Virginia, on a diplomatic mission. And... While there, the fort commander, Captain Arbuckle, took them hostage. On November 10th, two militiamen from the fort were attacked by natives. One of them was killed. And as retaliation, Cornstalk was executed. Now it's said, although it's not in any official historic record, that he uttered a curse before he died. And the curse he was said to have uttered was... I was the border man's friend. Many times I have saved him and his people from harm. I never warred with you, but only to protect your wigwams and lands. I refuse to join your pale face enemies with the redcoats. I came to the fort as your friend and you murdered me. You have murdered by my side my young son. For this, may the curse of the Great Spirit rest upon this land. May it be blotted by nature. May it even be blotted in its hopes. May the strength of the people be paralyzed by the stain of our blood. Pretty deep. Okay, and I actually misspoke there. It says, but not only to protect our wigwams and lands, instead of your wigwams and lands. Um, I've had a really fun time touring the fort. We actually arrived late um, with only about 30 minutes before they closed. But the woman working was very friendly and very knowledgeable with the fort. And we'll probably go back. It's only, you know, it's not very far, an hour or so away from me. Um, this is not where it originally was. It was actually closer to downtown closer to where the mothman museum is but it was destroyed about three years after it was actually built and back in the 1960s they decided to rebuild the fort and since you know there was apartment buildings and you know things had grown up where it originally was they moved it out by a big pond outside of town very nice location. They've done a really good job with rebuilding it. It's gorgeous, great detail. I plan on going back actually when they have reenactors, you know, actually working in the different spots in the fort. Maybe for the um, reenactment of the siege of Fort Randolph. I think that would be interesting.
Are you canon? You gotta know. Can we get a mortar? We got a mortar pistol, but we can't even know you. Oh, the Mothman statue. I was really excited to see this guy. He's cute, isn't he? So while we were at the museum, it was jam-packed with items that covered the whole scope of Mothman lore. From items from the TNT plant to props from the movie to actual pieces of the bridge that collapsed. There were handwritten accounts of sightings. It was also fairly busy the day we stopped in. There was a consistent stream of people coming into the museum and stopping outside to get their picture made with Mothman. And that was pretty exciting. They had displays that cover all of the important people to the Mothman story. And they also had, you know, probably one of the largest collections of newspaper clippings about Mothman and about, you know, the history of Point Pleasant. That I have seen. Um, they do have you know newspaper clippings that mention a rise in UFO sightings in the area. If you watch the Hellier documentary, you'll you heard that same thing in the Hellier documentary about a rise in UFO sightings in the area. And the guys from Hellier they mentioned that Point Pleasant is linked to that. Maybe it all goes back to Chief Cornstalk and to the Native Americans. I don't know. Maybe it goes back further than they, them. These are some posters that you can actually buy in the gift shop. The Vacation Point Pleasant one actually came home with me. They have a display for Mary Hire and Where the Waters Mingle. She focused a lot in her little column about sort of the weirdness of Point Pleasant and, of course, Mothman. And there's me with Mothman. I encourage you to go visit the museum and to learn about Mothman yourself.